from Tokyo, my dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope you're doing very, very well today. I would like to talk to you as a kind of, maybe in, in a kind of addendum form, perhaps, as a follow up to a video that I made about British films. Uh, certain British mystery films or mystery thrillers. And what I thought is I'd like to mention also a number of British films that might be of interest to those of you who are looking for films that are in the, let's say, mystery vein or the thriller adventure vein or a kind of uh, thriller, suspense, drama sort of vein. And what I'd like to do is, in the context of that discussion, uh, and as a follow-up to a video that I made previously about these sorts of British mystery thrillers or mystery thrillers in general, what I'd like to do is I'd like to recommend another set of films. And it's the films in the set. Basil Dearden's London Underground. London Underground. This is a set of films by Basil Dearden, which I think are so remarkable in terms of their variety and uh, differentiation. At the same time, they have a real streak of uh, suspense and drama and uh, s almost a psycho drama in some respects. Uh, there's also this kind of uh, tense social or political, maybe social drama. Um, and also there are elements of mystery and intrigue and adventure. So you're getting, I think, a huge array of films in this Eclipse series set. This is Eclipse series number 25, and this is a DVD-only set. But if you are interested in these sorts of mystery thriller films. Oops. If you're interested in these sorts of mystery thriller films, then I would strongly recommend getting the set, Basil Dearden's London Underground. Uh, and why is that? Well, because you're getting a real variety of films. So you're first getting 1959's Sapphire, which is like a, well, it's a, it's a murder mystery. It's a murder mystery, however, that is uh, uh, injected with social critique and commentary, racial relations, which is very fascinating, um, very fascinating indeed. So it's like social commentary slash murder mystery thriller. And uh, it, it reminds me a lot, actually, of... Uh, Twin Peaks, in a way, in terms of the setup, because you have a, the, the murder of this young woman uh, creating the impetus, if you will, for the exploration of a, of a community. Uh, it's, it's not quite the same, I, I get it, but um, there are uh, certain elements that certainly reminded me of that. But I think more importantly, and for the purposes of this film, this is a, a very fine sort of mystery thriller, but the mystery is the only the beginning uh, because there are other aspects to this film that deal uh, quite directly uh, in a very surprising and almost shocking way if quite directly with uh, the issue of uh, race relations and so this makes this film i think potentially something that is very uh, at once of its time but also something that can uh, might be applicable even now so anyway a very interesting film, Sapphire from 1959. And then next what you're getting is a film from 1960, The League of Gentlemen. Now, if you're looking for exciting adventure heist films, you're going to get a lot out of this. This is a fun, exciting, thrilling heist adventure film. And... There is a lot in terms of planning. There's a lot in terms of suspense. There's a lot in terms of human drama. And you're getting a real complete package here if you're watching this film. So The League of Gentlemen from 1960, a real thrilling, thrilling film, a very exciting 
entertainment, heist film of the highest order, League of Gentlemen. Next, 1961's Victim. This is a really uh, remarkable film in many respects. Now, we have to keep in mind that this is from 1961, and we have to remember the, uh, the situation and the status that was uh, given by law or under law with respect to homosexuality. It was criminalized. Homosexuality was the basis of, of, of criminal action. And so this kind of social critique of the situation at the time, I think, is very... I mean, it, it's my understanding is that this was a very bold and brave film in that respect because we are still dealing with uh, an era that treated or that saw the treatment of homosexuality in this way, which causes great concern and is the focus of the 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 really. Uh, uh, painful and uh, quite emotionally involving and emotionally exhausting story that is at the heart of this film, um, a main character played by Dirk Bogart. So uh, with that understanding and the context in mind, this film becomes a truly remarkable work in terms of its contents and also in terms of the times in which it was made. And of course, we have to remember also that uh, you know this is a, a work that is um, uh, that is dealing with certain issues, right? That are contemporary to its time. But uh, if we were to take a step back and look at it on more sort of universal terms, this film still has a lot of resonance, a lot of resonance. And so, I think this is an example of a great social critique drama of the highest order, Victim, from 1961, for your consideration. Last but certainly not least, from 1962, All Night Long. Now this is a kind of uh, highly charged you know, psycho-sexual drama in the sense that it is about jealousy, it is about uh, destructiveness, it is about deception, and it is about cool jazz. And it's this uh, volatile cocktail of a film that is filled with great menace and menacing charm, which makes it so wickedly delightful. A wickedly delightful film. All night long, uh, 1962. Now, again you're getting a film that is a kind of uh, suspense drama and you're getting a, a film that is a highly charged suspense drama but it is one that is uh, filled with uh, surprise and deception and a lot of uh, remarkable uh, coolness if you will it is a very cool film to watch. And so, yes, all night long from 1962 for your consideration. This is the fourth film in the set. All night long and then Victim and The League of Gentlemen and Sapphire. So hopefully this gives you a sense of how diverse this set is. And it really has a lot for everyone. And so I have no hesitation of recommending Eclipse Series number 25, Basil Dearden's London Underground, for your consideration. Okay, my friends, that's it for now. So uh, please, if you have any thoughts or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, I'd love to hear what it is you have to say. And if you are new to this channel, welcome it's so nice to see you and please feel free to leave a comment 
here or in another video. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Any recommendations you have for films for me would be great. What are your favorite films, etc. What films did you get in the Barnes & Noble sale? That sort of thing. It would be great to hear from you. And for those of you who are watching but who haven't subscribed to this channel, it would be so great. It would mean so much to me if you would be so kind as to subscribe to this channel. Again, it's it's just would give me another opportunity to hopefully meet another person uh, who is a fellow fan of film. And oh boy, that would certainly uh, be something that I would love. It would be such a great thing to connect with you and meet with you and talk with you. And so, uh, yes, please, uh, for those of you who haven't, please subscribe and please leave a comment below. And with that, I would love to uh, connect with you and to hear from you and to see what it is you have to think and what have to say about this thing that we all love, which is called cinema. Okay, my friends. So with that, please be happy and healthy and well. And please, please, please keep on watching a lot of great movies. Until we meet again, my friends. Cheers.